What's going on guys? Skylord Studios 005 back here again. And today I'm gonna to be doing a pro series tournament. Um so the rules are simple, it's basically just gonna be we're just gonna keep going until we get one bay left. However, um I actually thought of a pretty interesting rule that I could do when it comes to dual spins. And as of right now, we have four technically dual spins, technically three different ones. Um and the rule is, if it loses in one form, it switches to another for the next battle and doesn't get eliminated. So basically, the dual spins have two lives. Um, this is basically just a GT tournament, not a Pro Series tournament, per se. Uh, you might say, oh, I only see three. However, Venom Devilos in that back corner, I actually have the Erase Blade from Erase Fafnir. And it was supposed to be Erase, Ve Erase Devilos and Venom Devilos. So, yeah. Um, basically this is its dual spin. Uh, we actually have two Master Devilosas. We have the Pro Series version, which is 12 turn Zeta. And then we have the TT version, which is just, um, Generate. Or not Generate. Yeah, it's Generate, because, yeah. Also, Big Bang Genesis has Hybrid on it. Not the, it's the anime combo, because I thought that would be better than the stock combo, which is zero yard. And I did not include some repeat bays or just some lackluster bays just because I didn't feel like it. Um, repeat bays, for example, would be I have a, I have the TT Prime Apocalypse. Um, I have Cosmic Dragon, which is just uh, the one disc that's on Command Dragon Pro Series on Revolve, which is going to be pretty boring. And obviously Erase Fafnir, um, Sting, I guess Trick, I think is what it's called. But, yeah, uh, we're going to get into some battles. Uh, the way we're going to start out is we're going to start out with Pro Series Wave 3 and just keep going down. So, if you guys remember, it's Command Dragon, Lord Spryzen, and Soul Ball Kesh. And then there was Wave 4. And also, we're going to kind of lump in the TT versions from Wave 4. Um, but the ones that they didn't do, like Eclipse Genesis or Big Bang Genesis, um, we're just going to put them in for Wave 6. So... However, Master Devilus is going to be lumped in with Wave 4. And, yeah. Because I think there's only really just two TT bays in here that aren't Pro Series. So, let's clear everybody out. I'm going to start building the bracket. I'm also going to blow my nose real quick. And we will start the battles. So, um... Yeah, I think that can work. Uh, then there was Wave 4 which consisted of five bays. And this is going to be lumped in with wave four. And then we got wave five, which was these three. Then we had wave six. So we do have an odd number. Um, if we include Big Bang Genesis. So Big Bang Genesis is just going to be lumped in into round two. I'm going to go blow my nose really quick and then we will start the video or the battles. Alrighty, so let's get on with the battles. To start off, we've got Lord Spryzen around Fusion. Uh, this combo I actually did edit really quick. Uh, Command Dragon. I don't know the name of this disc. Let me see. Venture? Not. It's not Venture. It's something with a V. And instead of doing Jolt Dash, I put on Extreme Dash just because my Jolt Dash is too awakened for it to even be usable. So yeah. Let's see these two go head to head. 
Three, two, one, the rip. Three, two, one, the rip. Dang. Yeah, I think Command was probably one of the best GT Pro releases. If I were to rank the best Pro Series releases, that's out right now, because I know the next wave that's coming up has like the best Pro release in my opinion. Um, just buying wise, what I'd highly recommend. Uh, GT wise, I'd probably recommend Prime Apocalypse the best because it was a super hard day to get. I think that's Lord. So Lord takes the first point. Three, two, one. Three. Oh, hang on. We gotta redo that because command almost burst. Well, Lord has zero clicks. Uh, yeah, Prime was probably the best bet. Three, two, one, but a crit. Probably the best purchase that you could probably make Pro Series wise. Self KO. Um, just because it came in like a fifty dollar set that was super hard to get, which I ended up getting. Um. Then I would say it's not technically out yet, but Rage Longinus is probably the best performance wise that you're gonna get. Number three, just because of how good it is such a buy not this is my personal favorite along with the fact of how hard it is to get is uh infinite achilles because that thing was a prize bay back in the day and now it goes for like hundreds of dollars on ebay so yeah three two one let's go um three two one go. performance wise all right we're just gonna keep it going um, probably performance-wise, the best one's probably gonna be Rage Longinus or Rage Luinor. Uh, followed by Brave Valtriac, and then probably Prime Apocalypse. I kind of wish they kept Knockout Odox, uh, attack type, instead of a stamina type, one-to-one. -one. Because it does not do well as a stamina type, three-to-one better. So they gave it Octa, which I know is a hard part to get, but still, if it's bad, it's bad. We gotta stop because command self give. Three, two, one, but three. Keep in mind, guys, remember what I said. Lord Surprising, even if it works, it made contact. So, no matter what the outcome is, command loses. I just want to see this. Um. So yeah, Lord not only won, however, if it lo if it loses, it technically gets a restart because it's in less spin mode. So next up, we got Soul Ball Kesh up against Poison Cobra. Uh, probably two of the worst Pro Series releases, in my opinion. 3-2-1, let it rip. 3-2-1, let it rip. Yeah, you guys are going to see Poison and Cobra just go, just go like really hard on attack because... They did not make keep a free spin rubber, so it's just like a stationary rubber. So it's just going to become a really bad bay because of how attack like it is. Uh, I'm going to give that to Saul. Ball cash. Three, two, one, but three. Also, they did eternal run as well, so. The only thing that saves uh, burst finish soul ball cash. The only thing that saves soul ball cash is its paradox disc, in my opinion. Poison Cobra, yeah, I know it was a, like it was a really hard layer to get back in the day, but it still just sucks combo wise. They should have given it something like I don't know, Poison Cobra around bearing. Honestly, that's what I put on Big Bang Genesis and GT tournaments, and it normally gets me the win. Um, but just something more circular, something more defensive. Not keep, keep is garbage. Um, I'm going to turn on the fan real quick, guys, because it is very hot in my room. Here we go. Um, next up is, oh, this is going to be a funny one. Uh, Ace Dragon, Drake, Reboot, <laughs> and Sword Valtrix, Sting, Extreme Dash, so here's the thing that I never got, is that they gave us Ace after they gave us Command, and they gave us Venom after we got Master. Like, why even give it to us at that point? And also, why didn't they do Erase, Glyph, and Rock? 
those were layers that were bundled in with those bays that honestly kind of made the bay. So, three, two, one. There we go. Full set, extreme does have speed on it. However, Sword Valtric is kind of a bad layer. And also, this came with the Pro Series stat. So, Sword Valtric takes it. Three, two, one. Let's go. I kind of hope we get to get one soon. Ah, uh, yes, the minute counter balances Sword Valtric's like speed, it just self KOs. Three, two, one. Let's go. I tried a flower pattern, guys. I tried it. It is not working at Pro Series Stadium because of the self KO. Brings it to 1 1. 3 2 1. Three, two, one. Okay. All right, we're just going to keep it as is. Technically, that should have been sword, but I played by a different rule set. And sword one. So, sword Valtric takes the dub. Ace is eliminated. And now we got funny, funny. We got a funny battle. We got Master versus Master. Pro Series versus Takara Tomy. This is actually going to be a funny one. Um, we're keeping this defense. We are keeping the, the turn frame and attack. We're keeping them both right spins. Three, two. Also, it doesn't matter who wins this because they're both going to be able to just restart. So, three, two, one. Three, two, one. on yeah i think hasbro's gonna take this one just because it's a more controlled driver three two one better and the attack from generate is so inconsistent that yeah all right so it's one to one doesn't really matter who wins this or who loses this three two one better Play some wild stuff. Yeah, uh, Hasbro wins, but doesn't really matter. That just basically means that I have to switch TT Master into left spin mode. So, all right, uh, TT Master has used lost its first life essentially, and both Lord and Hasbro Master are on their, I guess, technically first life. What do you want to call it? Uh, all right, this is going to be a funny one. Uh, Union Achilles up against uh, Wizard Fafnir. So here's the thing. I don't like using the swords on Achilles just because it makes it too unbalanced and it just self-KOs and scrapes. So my goal with Achilles is just to kind of just outspin. Granted, when it's funny meme bay Wizard Fafnir, it's not going to outspin it. So 3, 2, 1, the three. 3, 2, 1, the three. Yeah, and you gotta launch Union stably in the stadium, or else it's just gonna self KO and die. Have it on its balanced stamina mode. And even then, it's not gonna do too good. It's just gonna spin still. Yeah. Wizard. Three, two, one, let it rip. Keep in mind, I'm light launching Fafnir, and it's still winning. Yeah. Slow motion burst. Um, Wizard Fafnir beats Union. I kind of saw that coming, so. Union is one of the worst Pro Series releases, just because they did um, Extend Plus wrong, and it's too short, meaning convert scrapes too much. So, uh, next up, we've got Harmony Pegasus and Prime Apocalypse. Harmony Pegasus is special just because the little disc piece uh, came off of the Pro Series one, so I replaced it with my Takar Homie disc piece. So, it's like a mixture of Pro Series and TT. Then we got Prime. All right. Three, two, one. 
honestly, that's kind of like the most insulting win in the Pro Series Stadium is a ring out. Uh, because it's like, there's so many pockets and there's so little that it's not as effective as Takara Tony one. But 3 to one Hang on. Problem has that stupid infinite lock thing where you have to set it up properly or else it's not going to work. So, 3 to one 3 2 1, but. Also, the funny thing is, they made Pro Series Prime Apocalypse easier to get than just Hasbro Hyperspear Prime Apocalypse because that was locked in a set. So, yeah. Um, Let me think. Who else was locked in a set? Pro Series wise. Master was pretty rare back in Hyperspear. So was Ace. Harmony, so it's 1-1. One, one. No infinite lock gimmick. Also, what I've learned the infinite lock gimmick really is, it's not a burst reversal. It's more like when you get to the wing and it hits the wing, it just makes it harder to burst. So, it's kind of like uh, Chosey Bay. So, 3, 2, 1, better. Wow, 10 out of 10 on the launch. Um, let's get the stadium back in the frame. 3, 2, 1, better. I will say, Texas does not have the best um, burst resistance, but I think it might be able to just stall out Prime. His Prime has Ultimate Reboot on it. And... Or maybe not. Um, yeah, no. Uh, Prime takes it. I kind of saw that one coming, too. So, now we're on to the final battle before uh, round two. We got Tack versus Venom. So, it's a left spin versus a right spin. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Uh, Venom is uh, self care. Also, they put... Variable dash on Venom, so it's going to be garbage. It is also what made, um, what's it called? It made uh, Ultimate Valkyrie garbage. And no, I'm not afraid to say that. Ultimate Valkyrie is garbage. Um, stock. 3, 2, 1, the first. Also, the Ultimate Blade is kind of overrated. It's not that, that good. Especially compared to Guilty. And stuff like Xyphoid, it's like not that good. It's not even competitively viable. So somehow Venom outspins it. Three, two, one. Three. What? Let's just give Tack a free win. Honestly, Let's just give Tack a free win. Yeah, just, just spin steal from it, unless you just keep dying because you have a garbage... Okay, yeah, no. Venom. Uh, it, it, trans dash is kind of garbage, so... Venom makes it on. It doesn't have to use any of its lives. So we're clearing out all the old bays that are like kind of just got eliminated. And now, we're setting up match two... And still, Big Bang is not involved in it. Actually, you know what? We're going to sub out. Who are we subbing out? We're going to sub out. We're subbing someone out for Big Bang. Because Big Bang has not come um, peated yet. So, we're subbing out Venom for Big Bang. Actually, no. We're subbing out Prime for Big Bang. Because Prime has a more likely shot of winning than Venom. So, next up, we got Lord Spryzen versus Soul Ball Kesh. Uh, Lord Spryzen is still in its left spin state because it did not lose. 3, 2, 1, left. So, it is the same spin battle. Soul Ball Cash. 3, 2, 1, the crit. 3, 2, 1, the crit. And 
Lord, so it's one, one. Three, two, one, let's rip. Three, two, one, let's rip. Again, as of right now, unless Sword takes it, none of the dual spins are affected. Because Sword can eliminate TT Master. Yeah, no. Uh, Soul is out, and Lord's Prize and still keeps its lives. Uh, next up, Sword versus um, Master. I think this might be a time where we want to launch Master first. 3, 2, 1, let it So it is left master. So hang on, I'm gonna try to do something pretty, pretty dang cool, guys. Something that is very hard to do, but if given the effect, it, it's pretty cool. And also, I don't like buying fake grips, which is why I don't do this very often, because most of the time in order to properly do this, you need a fake grip. So, because TT never made one. Dang it. If you just slightly move the launcher. Three, two, one. Three. Yeah, okay, I can't do it. I'm going to give it one more shot, and then we're just going to go back to normal. Three, two, one. Three. Right, just, going back. just going back to the way I normally launch them. Three, two, one. Three. Right. Or I did try, so I can't it. I did not. Dang. Dang, Master gets knocked out by sword. That's funny. All right, let's see sword. Three, two, one, let's rip. Take out master, come on. I also think it's gonna be one of the better battles because master got swords up. Just because how quickly they go. One to one. Three, two, one, let's rip. Alright, you know what? We gotta redo this anyway, so 3, 2, 1, let's rip. Three, two, one. Self KO'd right before. 3, 2, 1, let's rip. I love generate, guys. Not generate, but yeah, generate. Keep getting it confused with hybrid. give sword the advantage here we're gonna see can it outspin master i don't think it can we're gonna see yeah no master moves on sadly swords eliminated all right next up master versus oh dear god why did i do this um we're just giving wizard free wins at this point three two one let's rip also we are switching master to attack to maybe ring it out. They're doing a strip. Um, Alright, it's too light to ring it out, so we're just delaying Wizard's inevitable win. Let's see. Come on. Wizard, obviously. Alright, guys. We're gonna give Wizard the free win really quick. Hang on. Three, two, one, let it rip. Ooh, it's doing nothing, right? Well. Many wouldn't even consider that a proper launch. But to Wizard, up against a right spin opponent. It should people it might actually doesn't have the enough oomph to give it a slow motion burst. So, yeah, wizard. Who, who thought? Um, next up, Venom versus Big Bang. Hang on. You know what? I don't even know if this is in the right mode, if it's in right spin or left spin mode. But we're about to find out. Three, two, one, let's rip. Three, two, one, let's rip. Big Bang Genesis wins by doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, all the dual spins are going to finals. I just realized that. 3, 2, 1, let it Unless somehow... I 
I just love it whenever they sell KO. It makes my job so much easier. Three, two, one, but three, two, one, but three. Variable dash, the bane of every blader's existence. Bro, bro, bro. Hybrid, chill out. Yeah, hybrid was going for like a good few seconds while it was in my hand. Yeah, if we can't get a proper battle, all right, this might be a good one. This might be a good one, being keywords being might be. I think I need to start trying to flower pattern venom in order to get it to properly do something. However, Big Bang is just such a tank that it, it, it didn't even have hybrid activate. However, it did shift the Big Bang armor. So, yeah, we didn't even need hybrid to activate. Hey, that's when hybrid, okay. All right, it's gonna kill Venom, yeah. All right, now Venom is down to a race. All right, that was cool, guys. That was a pretty cool battle, not gonna lie. Just shows if you put in the effort, get some cool battles and result. So now this becomes a race, Devilos 1. Still on variable dash. All right, we're having Big Bang face somebody else because we are not doing that again. Oh, you know what? Oh. Oh, I got a good idea. Here we go. This will be fine. All right, hang on, guys. I'm gonna blow my nose one more time before we get into the basically third round. We only got six blades left. Also, the only dual spin to take a life or like lose a life have been the Devilosas, so it's kind of funny. Oh, hey, look, I forgot about a double -os. Um, Who are we automatically promoting to? We're just going to automatically promote Pro Series double -os. All right, we're going to do Lord versus Wizard. Same spin matchups. This is where Wizard's winning streak ends. 3, 2, 1, but three. 3, 2, 1, but three. Boom. Attack power level is half near. Of the minute I was just complimenting it, it just burst just straight up in my hand. So it's kind of funny. All right, Blizzard takes the first point. Three, two, one, let it rip. Three, two, one, let it rip. Lord. Oh my gosh, is this how Lord loses? Just by uh, attack of Blizzard? Funny meme day. I'm turning off generate because I want to save the batteries. Not generate. What's it called? Hybrid. Alright. Wizard's gone. Wizard's dead. We're good. We're in the clear. Wizard's dead. Lord moves on. Next up, we got a battle of the infinite locks. We got Big Bang on hybrid up against Prime Apocalypse. Also, if Prime beats out Big Bang, we're going to give the Big Bang armor to Prime. I think that'd be a cool little switch up. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three. All right, Prime's still active. Dang, dang, dang. It's just hammering. It got self KO'd and it still won. That is funny. However, the Big Bang armor did not shift that much. So. Prime takes the first win. However, I know that if I launch Prime first, it's going to be an automatic loss, so. Because cards can sell out. Three, two, one. Come on. Oh, 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 just because it had er, hybrid on it. It, it. It's still technically spinning. However, it spun the opposite way. I, I, I'm going to give it to Big Bang. It's so funny. It won because the stupid motor driver. You guys hear that? Yeah. That was the motor and generate going off. 
Hang on. I think it might be out of batteries because it's no longer flashing. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. It is unfazed by the pockets, guys. All right, now is when it dies because Ultimate Reboot kind of sucks. All right, still gave off some good hits. All right, Prime's out. Big Bang is still on. Yeah, I think it died, guys. I think it just kind of auto-turned off because it was on for so long. So, Big Bang's going to finals. Next up, we got <laughs> both of them lost. Their life. So one of them's getting eliminated. Both are left spin. Let's see this. Three, two, one. Generate. 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 All right. Erase got rung out by Left Master. So Left Master takes point. Three, two, one. Generate. And of course, it fell off the launcher right as I was going to launch it. So we got to redo this. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. I love fighting with Devlos. It is so much fun. That's really the only way to pop them launch it. We all know it can take a hit from a race. However, the only thing is, yeah, a race is probably going to outspin it just because I light launched it. But it's not. I think that's the second win for Left Master. I think Left Master took two wins, but just in case, we're going to give it another one. Three, two, one, but right. Oh, hang on. It's actually kind of tilting, so Erase might take it. You know what? Be mad at me in the comments. Say it already took two two wins it doesn't matter but i just want to keep all right technically that's a win so finally this thing's dead it can no longer compete all right we got the final four we got master v master and uh lord and um big bang so so we don't have to do master v master one more time we are going to do Big Bang v Left Master and Lord v Right Master. Somebody's losing life and making it to the finals. So, hang on a second, guys. There we go. Oh, both of them. Wait, did Lord take a hit? No, Lord's not. Lord is not taking a hit. Um, we are switching right master to defense. So, three, two, one, the trip. Three, two, one, the trip. All right, I think I'm going to predict who's making it to finals. Obviously, somebody in this battle, but I think Big Bang's going to make it to finals. I don't see Big Bang losing. I think it's just too big and hefty that it's too big to fail. I think Lord might take this battle. I'm not going to lie. He's got that left spin rubber advantage. Lord takes the first battle, but I think it's going to take the second one as well. Keep in mind, right master is still... Oh, you know what? We're going to need to do some sort of playoff battle because, um, or start in battle for the finals because we need to determine, because both of these still haven't lost a life. Whoever wins makes it to finals, but after Big Bang versus Left Master, if Left Master loses, it's got to face the one who didn't lose, or the one who lost to eliminate one of the two. Uh, this is, oh, okay, you know what? Lord makes it to finals. It secured its spot in the finals. So, meaning we got three bays left. We got Left Master, Big Bang, and now Left Master Pro. So, let me properly switch it to Left Master. Uh, we are t switching the turn frame back to, like, the counterclockwise spinning mode. 
is like the best mode to use it in. And we are keeping Zeta and defense. This could be just overall circular defense type. Um, why don't we do all three? All right, this is going to be kind of a stupid video idea or a stupid battle idea. But why don't we do Big Bang? And if Big Bang makes it past TT, it moves on to Pro. And it beats Pro, it goes to Finals. Basically do a play-in game before it's semifinals. Three, two, one, three, right. Three, two, one, three, right. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. This is going to be a funny one, guys. This is going to be a funny one. I think that's um, Big Bang. But the armor did slightly shift. Oh, hey, that's a left launcher. Three, two, one, three. Three, two, one, three. Da dang, dang. Big Bang's not dead. Now it is. It has stopped spinning. That that was funny. All right, so it's 1-1. One, one. Let's see who makes it. Three, two, one, but three. I do need a light launch master or else it just dies. Uh, uh, uh. It's still got a little fight. But I don't think it's going to be enough to, be, to get out Big Bang. Big Bang just weighs too much. And unless... Actually... I think that was Big Bang. I don't know because it kind of went counterclockwise. But we're going to call it Big Bang just to get this video over with because it's already 36 minutes in. Um, now Big Bang versus Left Master Pro. Three, two, one. Also, I swear, if Big Bang makes it to finals, we gotta do another round because we gotta do right Lord versus Big Bang. So it's not gonna matter. Lord's best mode is left spin, which is why I started it in left spin. Master, I think, might be better in left, at least for pro series wise. Oh, you're kidding me. Thank, thank goodness. Hybrid kicked in last second just to secure it the win. Three, two, one, but it hurt. Three, two, one, but it hurt. Yeah, honestly, I should not have instituted that rule because now we gotta do like we just did we just wasted time with like three or four Devilos fights that it's like wasn't even worth it. Because we know Devilos is losing to Big Bang. More likely than not. Yeah, Devilos lost to Big Bang. It, it, there was no point in it. All right, now it's got to fight Lord Spryzen twice. Um, unless Lord just wins, then Lord Spryzen just automatically takes it. All right, final battle, guys, or final battles. Three, two, one. Full cent. going to show how good Lord Surprise and Pro is. It's not that it has fusion on it. It's just the Lord base mixed with a round. That's just such a good combo, not going to lie. If it had Extend Plus, that would be like the Ultimate Pro Series, honestly. But they gave Extend Plus to what's it called? This is why. Big Bang. Oh my gosh. It's going to have to fight it again, isn't it? There's Big Bang. Let's go Left Master. Or not Left Master. Left Lord. Alright, I just saw the light blink. So, Generate or Hybrid should be kicking in soon. Yeah. All right, now we got to switch Lord to left spin or right spin. So we got to redo this entire battle. All right, let's go same launcher spin. Let's reset uh, the Big Bang armor. Three, two, one. Three, three two, one. Three.
honestly, if it didn't have that speed, Lord probably would have outspun it. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Look at the speed. Oh my gosh, Lord caught up with it and hit it. Dang. That's why you don't mess with Lord Spies and Pro. It was like the best pro release. All right, Lord Spies and Pro. Also, since it's the final, we always do the three for the finals normally. So it's one to one, three to one. Three. Three. Uh, it kicked on hybrid. Okay, so it hit Big Bang. And when that hit, hybrid got kicked on. That's funny. All right, so it's two to one. Reset the Big Bang armor. Let's get Lord. Three, two, one, rip. Three, two, one, rip. Dang. That's technically a self KO. So we can't really do anything. But yeah, this battle gets crazy, guys, because Fusion's fully awoken on mine. Three, two, one, rip. Uh, Big Bang. So it's 1 1. 2 2, actually. Not 1 1. 3 2 1. Three. 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 Oh, yes. Basically, what's been ruining and lengthening this entire video self KOs. Reset the Big Bang armor. 3 2 1. Three. Three, two, one, Dang, it tried to fight back, but Big Bang was too much. So, overall, what have we learned from this video? Self-KOs suck, and they're easy to accomplish in the Pro Series Stadium. But, in hindsight, uh, I think Big Bang Genesis being, like, the only Takara Tomy Bay was just too big to fail. Because, not only did you have the weight from Hybrid... You had the infinite lock, and also you had the motor from Hybrid. So, yeah. Big Bang Genesis. Who would have thought? I honestly thought Lord Spryzen was going to win, because it was, like, my best bay and my favorite bay. But, you know, I think the Big Bang armor actually supplied more than most people would have thought. Because the Genesis layer, Genesis 2, or whatever you want to call it, Big Bang Genesis, whatever. Because it's not really Big Bang, because it doesn't have the armor. But... It has probably the worst burst resistance between the three. But when you put the Big Bang armor on it, it lines up so well with this layer in particular. And it just makes it so much better because it lines up with this little blade right here. And you get a bit of attack with it, despite it being a defense type. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this 43 minute long video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And tell me what was your favorite battle and what round was it? what mode were the bays in. So yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.